topics today we will discuss the next topic making chemical equation more informative chemical equations can be made more informative by expressing characteristics of reactants and products we will express the characteristics we will express the characteristics of <coughs> reactants and products in that first one is physical state physical state we will explain the physical state second one is heat changes third one is gas evolved fourth one is precipitate form okay we'll express one by one first one physical state to make the chemical reaction more informative the physical states of the substance be mentioned like liquids are represented by l solids are represented by s gases are represented by g and water the word aqueous is represented by aq <coughs> okay we'll discuss with one example fe2o3 plus 2 aluminum gives rise to 2 iron plus al2o3 in this this is a balanced equation okay now this is solid aluminum is also solid iron is also solid aluminum trioxide is also a solid these representation is nothing but physical state here triangle represents heating triangle represents heating okay <clears throat> next second one heat changes heat is liberated in exothermic reaction in exothermic reaction heat is liberated already i said this one heat is liberated in endothermic in endothermic heat is absorbed heat is absorbed okay we'll see with some examples in this first one carbon dioxide plus oxygen gives rise to carbon dioxide plus q here carbon is a solid oxygen is a gas carbon dioxide is a gas this is expressing physical state now plus q is nothing but this is exothermic reaction means what is liberated heat is liberated here q is heat energy q is heat energy for exothermic reactions plus q we will write okay next second example nitrogen plus oxygen gives rise to nitric oxide minus q here minus q represents endothermic reaction endothermic reaction and nitrogen is a gas oxygen is a gas nitric oxide is also a gas this is expressing physical quantity now you understood this one 
okay next third one what gas evolved if any gas is evolved we will represent it okay for example zinc plus h2s44 gives rise to zns44 plus h2 zinc zn is a solid h2s44 is a aqueous solution znso4 is also an aqueous solution h2 is a gas this h2 is a gas it gas is represented by upward arrow gas is represented by upward arrow fourth one precipitate how precipitate is formed precipitate is represented by downward arrow okay for this example agno3 plus NaCl gives rise to AgCl downward arrow plus NaNO3. Here we first we will express the states. This is aqueous solution. This is also aqueous solution. This is solid. This is aqueous solution. Here what I said downward arrow indicates precipitate. Here downward arrow it is indicating precipitate. <coughs> Is it clear children? I think you understood these properties. So on this basis I want to give you some questions. Write physical property and gas evolved for NaOH plus H2SO4 gives rise to Na2SO4 plus H2O. Second one, KClO3 gives rise to KCl plus O2. Thank you.